Today for your Club Flyer projects, you're going to use Google Drawings. To get started, log into your Jeffco Google account, then choose the red New button, and you won't see Google Drawings listed here. On the top three, you're going to need to choose More and then open up a Google Drawing page. Google Drawings is different than Google Docs in that you can manipulate and rearrange any of the items you put on the page very easily. If you plan on printing your flyer, the first thing you're going to want to do is to set the page size. And to do that, you'll go into the file menu and choose page setup. Right now you'll see standard four by three, but to make sure it prints exactly the size of a piece of paper, go into custom. And if you want it to be eight and a half by 11, which is the size of a standard piece of paper, just type 8.5 by 11. And that will yield a portrait size canvas for you to fill. If you prefer to have a landscape orientation, go into page setup and choose 11 by 8.5. Next, you'll probably want to select your background. To do that, you can right click on the canvas and bring up the background option. Currently, you are limited to a color background. If you go in and choose custom, you'll be able to really customize whichever color you choose. In addition to choosing a solid color as your background, you can also add images to use as a background canvas. So here's a picture of the beach, and if I right click on this picture and choose copy image, I can take it over to Google Drawing and paste it in here. As soon as I've added a couple of items to my drawing, I'm gonna add a title so that I can easily locate this file later. Now, when you add images to Google Drawings, you have a lot more options than you do in other Google tools. So I'm gonna right click on this image and I can crop it, I can center it on the page, but these image options can add some nice stylistic effects to your flyer. So I'm gonna pull up the image options menu and you'll notice it appears over on the right side. I can recolor my image and I can also adjust its brightness and transparency. And when you are pulling in other images from the web to layer on top of this, some of them will come with a white background. You can see this clearly outlined with this picture. So if you don't want a white background, choose something like this image that has none. But I'll pull this one in so you can see how it looks. And I'm gonna copy my image, take it over to my Google Drawing and paste it in here. Resize it, drag it to where I'd like it to be on the canvas, and if I want to, I can recolor it so I have a common theme going here. My flyer definitely needs a title, and I'm going to use the insert menu to use a shape to insert my title. So if you go to the insert menu and choose any of the shape options, all of these shapes will nicely support text. So you've got some basic shapes, you've got star shapes and cloud shapes and all sorts of additional shapes. If you go to the callouts menu, you'll see some other options as well. I'm going to use the wave shape for my title, draw it on my canvas, and all of the shapes usually come in with a light blue fill color. If you don't like the light blue color, go to the fill color menu and just change it to something else. Simply click inside the item to start typing. And then from here, you can select your text and apply additional formatting. Now this is a pretty boring font, and if you go into your fonts menu, you might not have as many options as I do. So if you want something fancy like this faster one font that I'm gonna use for my title, then you need to go into your fonts menu and simply choose more fonts. This will bring up literally hundreds of fonts, and you can scroll through all of these options and pick some more creative fonts. So we've covered images, titles, now, of course, we need to put in text boxes so that you can add your information about your club. As soon as you find yourself needing to type something beyond simply the title of the club, I recommend you open a Google Doc. And the reason for this is because Google Drawings does not have an add-ons menu. You'll see it doesn't exist here. But if I switch over to Google Docs, I have my add-ons menu, and one of the add-ons that I have added and I recommend you add is called Easy Accents. If you don't already have it, just go down to the bottom of the menu and say Get Add-ons and search for Easy Accents. As soon as I have Easy Accents started and identify Spanish as the language I'll be using, it pulls up all of the relevant accents that I might need. So if I type my text here in Easy Accents, I can easily include the accents, and those will copy and paste properly when I take it over to my Google Drawing. So I copy my text, take it over to my document, and I could go to the Insert menu and insert a text box and paste inside it, but Google Drawing is a little clever, and as soon as I paste text of any sort, it will just automatically create a text box for me. It's very hard to read my text in this text box, 
So I need to either change the color of the font, which I can do, or add a fill color to fill the text box so it makes it easier to read. So once my text box is selected, I can just go to the fill menu and I'll add a nice fill color to make it more readable. You can use text boxes or callouts or a mixture of the two to add all of the information you would like to about your club. When your flyer is complete and you're ready to submit it, you can just go to the file menu and choose print. As long as you set up your page settings properly at the beginning, this will fill a standard piece of paper. And if your teacher wants it submitted electronically, you'll use the blue share button and follow the directions your teacher has given you regarding whether or not you should share it individually with your teacher or go into the advanced options to simply change your document from private to anyone with the link in view. This allows you to email a copy to your teacher that will be readable by your teacher. So that's how to use Google Drawing to quickly create a flyer for your club. If you have any questions, please come see Ms. Johnson in the library.